now it's a day two, uh, feed number five. Well, that means feed three times a day. So here is Betty, uh, Betty our yesterday's hero. Betty is learning, uh, well, one of the most important things. As uh, puppy owners complain, puppies jump. You don't want puppy to stop being a puppy. You want a puppy to learn something on the top of it. So what Betty has been doing is just simply following me. And when she has a question, uh, uh, what to do next, such as that. She gets rewarded only for putting her bottom down. So nothing else pays the bills. And I was hoping that she would do a little bit of jumping today, but no, she's figured out that that's a purely a waste of time. So and what's much more important is to present yourself in a proper fashion. Betty, this way. And yes, why would she want to jump? Betty gets paid for not jumping, for yes, just that. Well, anyway, so stopping something is one job, but teaching something on the top of it, for me, is a much nicer way of training. Right, let's go into the next uh, discipline, if you like. So today I'm moving about a bit and calling the dog to me. So this will be our introduction to a recall. Betty, come. Nice. Betty, come. Now, before I started letting my dogs off the lead in the park, they would have heard this command, well, several thousand times. And thousand times, just simply build up from, I don't know, 50, 70 recalls every single day. So Betty, come. Well, luckily, as you can see, Betty has masses of those tiny little biscuits in her bowl. So I can deliver one of them in exchange for her joining me every single time. Betty, come. What a star you are. Excellent. Right, so you get the picture. Betty, come. Becomes a skill, a reflex, if you like. Something that she wouldn't be able to refuse when she gets a little older. Now Betty will be practicing another important skill for the puppy. This is the very beginner stages of her stay skill. Stay. So I started postponing delivery of the reward just for a few seconds at a time. So she doesn't have to be sitting, but obviously it's a bonus. So if Betty just waits there, I will ask her to stay or wait several seconds later. Good girl. The biscuit will be, re will be delivered. And good girl. Improves that waiting time or attention span, if you like, drastically. So we go one, two, three, four, five, reward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, reward. And this way, as long as I don't overdo it, Betty's stays will be getting stronger and stronger and hopefully in a couple of days I'll be able to walk across the garden and getting Betty to stay. How do we start with the distance build up? Stay, short step away, reward. Step away, lean, oh she broke it. Let's do it again. Stay and reward. I will change my feet. Back, reward. And sit. Thank you Betty. Stay. Reward. Excellent. So it's the amount of repetition that makes all the difference. So it doesn't matter how slowly you go, so Betty will develop the taste for the stay, like all the other commands, very, very, very quickly. So now I'll try one full step away from her. Betty, Betty. Oh, now she was distracted and she still came back. One, two, return, reward. Let's start with the other food. Stay. It's amazing how many little things like this spoil the stays for the puppies. So we have to introduce each one of them slowly. Betty, Betty, Betty. Right. Are we unsettled today? And stay. One full step back. And a nice reward. Now what I tried yesterday was stay just turning my back on her. To start with, just for over a few seconds. But this is something that will give me a nice reliable stay very shortly. What do you want to do? You want to stand, stay. Okay then, stay, walk about, and reward. Betty, stay. How about a one tool step and turn around and reward? Sometimes I'm a bit too ambitious. This is something that we haven't done before. Stay, so walk away, turn around, return to the puppy, and reward. Well, clumsy version of what you're going to see in several days, hopefully polished up. Hey, and sit. Right. Okay, easy. this is all the boring stuff. What I like the most is doing fun bits. So fun bits are tricks. For the dogs, there's absolutely no difference whether she's doing you know, left and right and a bit of heel work. 
by the way, that's why we're teaching this. So eventually, that's going to become Betty Hill. That's that. Good girl. Just following me in a heel position or doing something like this. Betty, and go back. Oh, good girl. We avoid the mechanics. We just hide the biscuit in that blind spot. Just behind the dog's chin. She doesn't have much choice but to step away in order to eat the biscuit. And that way she's learning the very advanced command back. Oh, very nice, Betty. So we have done this before, so we don't have to go just with the little body lean. Now we can move a few steps away. Right, excellent job, Betty. Right, and how about a little bow? Oh, I like that. Right, and a bow. Oh, now if the dog volunteers to lie down, now we will involve the other hand. Good girl. Reward her and lure her. Good into that bow, having a little support. There you go. Well done, Betty. And one more. Good dog. Betty and bow. Oh, you don't want to do it? You don't have to. Good girl. Nice. And bow. Good girl. Well done. That will be a good start. Now, the simple exercise to lie flat can be done this way. Oh, Betty. You want to go for the jackpot. That's coming down and flat. So the same way as we would encourage, yay, well done. They're going backwards. I'm trying to put it somewhere where Betty can't easily reach. So just somewhere towards her elbow will drop her to the other side. Avoids the pushing. Once again, it takes away the initiative from a dog. So once we've done one side, and most dogs are not ambidextrous, we will try the other side. I usually choose to use the other hand, but you can just as well do it with one. Hey, hey. Betty, Betty, okay, I'll take a meet you. How about this? And down. All the way. Good girl. And down. Hey, hey. Yes, we're getting a little bit unsettled there. So we'll probably have to keep it simple. Yes. Good girl. patience but at the same time you don't have to cover every single one day so sometimes yes you count your costs and you just cancel some exercises for the sake of the others so this is something that I'm quite happy to leave until next time and we will go into something completely different Big sit very day that is it and big there you go little big is a big nice <laughs> yes she wants the whole thing so let me just remove the food temptation, hopefully more concentration. At this stage we don't have to deal with many temptations. And little big. <laughs> what, what are we doing? And big. Oh, I love that one. And a paw. paw. Yes, beautiful paw. And sit. Good. And when Betty has been a star, as she is, what are we gonna do? Betty, stand. I want your beautiful girl. There, we're gonna feed her the rest of it. Oh, free. Well, anyway, you've seen the number of uh, reinforcements that she received during one meal. So, it's not always essential to go for the whole bowl. If she's been good, and today I consider her being fairly good, okay, probably not perfect, well, I'm quite happy to put the rest of the bowl, the rest of the food down, and allow Betty to be, well, what she is, a happy, just been, well, reasonably well behaved today. I absolutely enjoyed working with Betty. Thank you very much.